What is going on Air Gunners? And today we have something very special in the studio. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this may just be the best combination of both fun and accuracy on the market today. With an outstanding 19 shots in under three seconds combined with a Lothar Walther barrel, a regulator in the back, how could you go wrong and how could you make it any more fun? So we have today the LCS Air Arms SK19, which is available of course in both 22 and 25 calibers. This one that was sent to me by Air Guns of Arizona comes in the 22 caliber variety. We're going to take a quick look at this rifle, the features, the specs, as well as some consistency and accuracy data. How about just quick shot before we get into it? This is so completed by the SK19. I call it the can flip and boom. Guys, this thing is just a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this monster air rifle that we have in front of us today. As you guys look over the SK19, you're gonna notice that there are two safeties that are built in. You have the safety right here by the trigger, which is just like your standard safety. Then you also have a safety towards the back. And this back here is also what I kind of call the fun button because not only is it a safety, but it allows you to select between fully automatic and semi-automatic. So you flip with a switch and you're going full tilt with the SK19, which is just a lot of fun. Back here in the back also, you'll notice that there is a 19 shot non-removable magazine. Uh, there's also two other switches here. This one, you notice it's already uh, tilted up in the horizontal position. This unlocks the magazine and allows it to rotate by hand as you load it. And then there's gonna be one on the other side here that is just a loading gate that is magnetic and it opens up as well, just to give you easier access to all of the loading, um, to the loading features there. Also, it has, comes with two Picatinny rails, one for the scope, so you can just mount this wherever you want and get the perfect eye relief for you. And this bottom Picatinny rail is something that I really like to see. Sometimes when you have a rail down here in the bottom, it's just really short and it's gonna be right underneath the bottle, but uh, LCS Air Arms has taken that and extended it out past the bottle, and that gives you a lot of leverage and some added stability when you're using a bipod down here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it does have a Lothar Walther barreled. It is shrouded and it does come with a moderator. I still would not say that this is backyard friendly as is, but you can get some accessories for it, uh, whether a zero DB moderator or Donnie FL moderator, an adapter that will help to quiet it down. This rifle is of course regulated and the big silver dial back here on the bottom uh, allows you to just rotate that and easily adjust the regulator inside of there. It took me some considerable time to work with the chronograph to find the sweet spot on this air gun. The model I tested really seems to like the redesigned JSB Monster Diablo pellets. And these come in at 25.39 grains and are a great match for the power capabilities of this rifle. And after a great deal of testing, I found that 150 bar on the regulator was really kind of its happy place. And at that, at that 150 bar pressure level, the LCS is pushing pellets just around 900 feet per second, which is creating a whopping 46 pounds of energy and allowing both the greatest accuracy and consistency with this rifle. A little tip for you guys too, once you get it dialed in, something you might want to do here is just add a little line with a permanent marker. So if this dial does ever get turned on you, uh, you can go ahead and get it adjusted right back to where you were. And let's say you have to switch it, you change it up pellets a little bit, you just a little use a little nail polish remover and that should take that mark right off of the dial for you. So it's not necessarily permanent per se. As I was testing this, there was one really interesting diversion from the factory specs, and I wanna talk about that for a minute. The factory suggests you're gonna get about 80 shots per fill. In my real life testing, 
I was able to significantly beat that number and I got about 97 to 98 shots per fill and that's about six magazines worth of fun right here. And I'll tell you, six magazines might seem like a lot, but when you're shooting 19 shots in under three seconds, uh, it doesn't last too long. We did go ahead and do some chronograph data as well, and you'll notice over that 97 shots, SK19 does have a pretty flat curve. Uh, it's averaging about 898 feet per second. It does have an extreme spread of 65 feet per second with a standard deviation of 13.7 feet per second, which is great considering that this is a fully automatic and the capabilities that really very few other air guns have. Once dialed in, this air gun will also reward you with accuracy, both in semi-automatic and automatic modes. If you take a look at that cinder block that we had earlier, I think it speaks volumes for the accuracy that this rifle holds as an automatic. But what about when you extend that range out, out past or out to 50 yards and do a 50 yard test? Well, sporting the Lothar Walther barrel and pushing 65 foot pounds of energy, the accuracy held. Once the regulator was dialed in, I was producing five shot groups at under a half inch center to center. Guys, if you need more evidence than that, head on over to visit my friends over at Airgun Nation and see what shooters like Centercut are saying about this rifle, and you'll see what I mean. I know that some of you probably won't be satisfied with just the rifle in its stock form, and you're going to be looking at ways to accessorize this. The first thing I would look to do is add the Sabre Tactical dual bottle adapter and a second bottle to the front. Guys, that just makes this twice as much fun because you're going to get about twice as many magazines worth before you have to refill the air gun. I've also heard that Crawford and Lipt might be considering uh, the addition of a new butt pad here for this rifle. If that's something that you are interested in, reach out to him directly and let him know that there is interest out there in that. And I'm sure he's going to go ahead and reciprocate that interest with making us a fine new adjustable butt pad. You can also go and look at Donnie FL for adapters to the barrel and also to add different moderators, whether that be a Donnie FL or a zero DB moderator, you will be pleased with both. And finally, no air gun like this would be complete without a stellar bipod. And I highly recommend, I've been using the AccuTech FCG2 precision bipod that both AOA carry, as well as other air gun retailers and industry are carrying. And it is a solid bipod with a ton of adjustments. Guys, this review has been an absolute blast to do, and I hope each and every one of you get the opportunity to shoot an air gun that is just this much fun. If you see an LCS SK-19 on the range and you haven't had the opportunity to shoot one, I encourage you to do so. Or just go out and visit AOA and pick one up for yourself. Guys, until next time, make sure your trigger pull stays smooth and your pellets fly straight, and we'll see you again next time on the Air Gun Advisor. Gotta love this thing. Look at that.